Hey everyone, I'm here with my dog Porter, who's not wearing a sweater today. What is going on? It's beautiful. Well, yes it is. Life's a lot better when it's too warm to wear a sweater. <laughs> and we're here with Sappy, who got spayed the other day, and uh, they cut her hair. And she lost her beautiful beard. We no longer have our beard bond. Sappy! She never looks at the camera. Oh, my shadow. Sappy. <laughs> and of course, there's Polly Dog, who's protecting the yard, wearing her pretty sleek looking new shirt. Porty ish. And today, we're talking about our foster dog, Peanut, who uh, had, he's been having a pretty rough go of it. He's just really sad, misses his family. But uh, we have good news he was adopted. He had a meet and greet um, yesterday, but then it had to get rescheduled, and then he had it today, and they loved him. Uh, it was an older couple. They don't currently have any dogs, but they've always had small dogs, and they really liked him. It was more the wife who was really into him. Um, I think the the dad was just like, oh, hey, you know, <laughs> he was, he's just along for the ride, but uh yeah, she seemed to really connect to him, and she was like, Oh my, can I take him home today? And we're like, we, you sure can. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm really happy about that. Uh, he's a really sad guy, and I don't know. I just, I felt really bad for him. He already has an appointment with my wife, uh, I think three weeks from now, just to assess his, uh, how he's doing, how his stress levels are. Portie's, I'm just taking a video of Portie being right now. Honestly, I think he'll be fine. Uh, you know, it's not unheard of to have a dog get really sad when they're separated from their owners. He was pretty bad, though, so we'll see. You know, if it's just, uh, if he's always been like that, or if it's just the event that triggered it. And that leads us to our foster dog, Sappy. She's the, the last woman standing. Oh, so yeah, like I mentioned, she got spayed, and... We're still working on the food stuff. She's doing well, though. I have to admit, now that we're uh, coming to the end of her <laughs> her foster period, uh, oh, it's getting harder and harder to imagine bringing her back. I, I'll just say it: I do want to adopt her, but uh, I just don't think I should. It's kind of a you know, it's a lot to it, but. I don't know. We'll we'll see how things go. I'm I'm still leaning on no, but oh, I really 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 love this dog. So it's going to be tough if you know. Either way, it's a it's a very tough decision. Anyway, enough of that. I hope you all have a great weekend. We're gonna be out in the fun, out in the fun, <laughs> out in the sun, having some fun. I hope you guys do as well. Take care.